Now, seeing consistent and adequate media representation for people with disabilities is something that I've been passionate about for quite a while now. And as a YouTuber, it's something that I've talked about extensively on my channel. Some people question this. They say, Robin, why is it you seem so passionate about this one thing when surely there are much bigger issues facing the disabled community? Well, for me, it all boils down to creating a shift in attitude and a more positive perception of disability, which I believe in turn, like Katia, will have a knock-on effect and inclusion for all areas of people with disability. For me, like everyone else, having a disability has had its challenges, but it's also been very much a source of opportunity in my life. It's played a huge part in the person that I am today, and it's down to much of what I do now, traveling the world as an athlete and creating content for YouTube. So it's something that I'm more than happy to embrace and showcase, but that's not always the light in which disability is viewed by my peers. And I think the media plays a huge role in that. Up until recently, we haven't seen our diverse community reflected and celebrated in advertising, television, or film. And I think that just further perpetuates the idea that disability is something that we should distance ourselves from or even hide. I personally believe if we could show someone in a wheelchair selling the latest range of Target, like I was lucky enough to do, or an amputee promoting a cheese brand, or someone with Down syndrome highlighting the benefits of a memory foam mattress, it will go a long way in normalizing disability because these types of advertisements are as normal as they come. We see them every day, everywhere we go. And I think it will also show people that yes, we are individuals with our own stories, passions and challenges, but just like everyone else, we're looking for a cool outfit, some tasty cheese, and the best mattress. <laughs> when I think what representation really means though, in all seriousness, I think back to my time in primary school, both in England and here in Perth. I was the only disabled kid with a low visible disability in my year, if not in the school at that time. And because of that, I had to answer a lot of questions, which wasn't so bad, I, I'm not too bad at talking about myself. Um, but I also had to assure them at that young age that I wasn't that different having a disability and they didn't have to feel awkward or unsure around me, which was kind of hard at the time. I used humour to point fun of myself and make everyone else feel comfortable. But I do often reflect back and think how those experiences might have been different if they'd already been exposed to a large range of abilities and bodies through the media they consume. I also think about the responses that I got from my work with Target, which I'm sure are very similar to the responses that Emily and the other starting with Julius Ambassadors received. Young people's sense of validation of seeing someone else like them reflected in a catalog, knowing that they might be the only kid amongst their peer group with a disability, but there are other people out there embracing their differences and who are proud of their disabilities, who are confident enough in themselves to be in the spotlight. And I'm also very proud of the fact that this will only continue with the, mo the more companies and brands that jump on board with our inclusive message. And I hope that one day, kids will be confident enough in themselves as disabled individuals, and that they won't have to struggle to explain to the other kids that they're not that different. So I'm gonna leave you by saying, if you're thinking about running a campaign, just uh, give me a call, because I'm free for work. <laughs>